How you doing, Josh? All right, we made it. How you feeling, Josh? Feels so excited. Can you show him the bib number? So Josh is gonna be four, four, two, three, and I am four, four, two, two. All right, so we're gonna take off here in about an hour. We're gonna go see the 200 mile races take off. And then we take off at seven. So wish us luck. Woo! <laughs> Time this kit has been raced in, and it's Josh's first 100 mile race. <laughs> That's right, buddy. Representing inclusion. You got this, brother. Proud of you. All right, we got our first trek of the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. So, pretty deep clay and mud here. So, we're back to biking. <laughs> We're at mile 75. Here, come the, here comes a huge storm you can see behind us. We got through the 70 to 75 mile marker, which is another hike to bike area if it rains. My goal was to get us through that before the rain came, and we did. So, all right, buddy, you wanna head down? I'll follow you. Let's do this, buddy. Here we go. We haven't spoke since mile 75. We're at mile 80. I told him, I said, Josh, you got 25 miles to go, buddy. Three quarters of the way in. He is zoned in. He's just focused, pedaling hard, knows the finish line's close. And this is where our organization separates ourselves. It's our training prepares them for this. These hard moments, these mental battles, these moments when they want to quit and things are hard, and we instill that leadership in them, that self-belief, that perseverance, that resilience to pedal through and push through and not give up. I freaking love this kid. Let's go. I'm really glad we're going this way. <laughs> we ain't storm chasers, we're storm runners. We're literally running from this storm still. Let's go. Woo! Almost there, Josh. 100, baby. <laughs> How you finish a race? The rain caught us. About a few miles left. We're gonna finish strong. <laughs> yeah, Josh! Women's race yeah, has crossed Bird Bridge. Yeah. So, <laughs> five minutes ago, so
Biking to me is, uh, to me personally, is connection. Um, I've always liked biking, but biking didn't become this core part of my life until I started working with Josh and Riley, who were my first two athletes I ever started working with. Um, but just being a part of that journey with them and being a part of those challenges and just with them um, has made me fall in love with the bike. So to me, the bike is community and connection. And I guess the next question, anyone can answer who they would like. You know, there are gravel races around the country, you know, but everyone knows that Unbound is the biggest gravel race. For most people here, you know, myself, it's, it's the biggest race, it's the biggest stage. But for all of you, why do you choose to come to this race in particular? Because, you know, surely there's another race somewhere else, but this is, this is the, the biggest race, the biggest show in, in gravel, whether you're racing, whether you're riding. I mean, I know for you, Chase, this is your first time coming here. I mean, what, what is it to come to this race in particular? Um, yeah, I'm also doing my first one, my first 100 around too, so we get to share that experience. <laughs> yeah! Um, I think this race, for me in particular, is, like you said, right, most racers, most people here, it's, um, it's, it's the ability that not just seeing is believing, but feeling is believing. And I think um, the more people that can see and feel the, the energy from Josh and, and our athletes, more they can reflect on their original perspective and understand that at the end of the day we're all human and the potential for all humans is endless. Um, I mean, like I said in your film, you know, this was said in ours, it was said in Marley's, it's, we hear the word no's and never's and can'ts a lot in life, but um, we're trying to change that belief system. And I think the cycling community is a beautiful place to start of just telling people that I believe in you and that goes a really long way. So we're here just to share that love and that energy. Just tell everybody that we believe in you and, and hope to get that reciprocation.